Hello everyone, welcome back to Higher Study Prep, a complete guideline for higher education. We are back with Hausen High Frequency Vocabulary Series. Here, we will go through different words, their meanings, synonyms, antonyms, and some example. Feel free to stop at any slide that you like and revise as necessary. Conundrum. It's a noun, which means a confusing and difficult problem or question. For example, Cooper felt like the tank filling problem was a conundrum and it generated a lot more questions than answer. The mnemonic for remembering the conundrum can be helped if we break it apart as con under the drum. Con means an act of tricking someone. So, the word con under the drum can be remembered as the person who was tricked and confused by the con and riddle set up by the drum. Synonyms for the word conundrum can be quandary, dilemma, puzzle. And antonyms can be solution, explanation, clarification. Lucid. It's an adjective which means clear or easy to understand or transparently clear. For example, Bonito, a town in Brazil, attracts a lot of tourists for its lucid water. The water is so clear that fishes underwater are visible from above. The mnemonic for remembering the word lucid can be done by breaking it apart into luce plus id or look plus id. So looking at an id gives a crystal clear idea about the person's identity. That's how you can remember the word lucid. Synonyms for the word lucid can be transparent, vivid, limpid, cogent. Antonyms for the word lucid can be confusing, unclear, ambiguous. Ebullient. It's an adjective which means cheerful and full of energy. For example, Mr. Bean felt ebullient as he enjoyed his vacation days along the beaches of Keynes. The mnemonic. This word ebullient can be remembered as sounds like jubilant, which means full of energy. Some synonyms for the word ebullient can be exuberant, vivacious, ecstatic, animated, buoyant. Whereas some antonyms can be somber, gloomy, murky, or melancholy. Content. It's a verb which means to satisfy someone. For example, Mrs. Warner has a soup shop that helps content the poor and homeless people of their hunger. Mnemonic for the word content can be remembered by convey through easing element, that is to convey or provide elements that ease or comfort. Synonyms for the word content can be pacify, soothe, placate. Some examples of antonyms are disturb, perturb, dissatisfy, frustrate. Bargain. It's a verb which means begin to grow or increase rapidly. For example, the saplings burgeoned into healthy plants under the bright sun and rain within a short period of time. Mnemonic. For the word burgeon can be broken up as burge plus on, which sounds like surge plus on. And surge means grow, rise or escalate. So the word burgeon can mean grow forth. Some synonyms of the word burgeon can be flourish, prosper, thrive, or develop. Antonyms for the word burgeon can be decline, shrink, stagnate, reduce, or lessen. Fervor. It's a noun which means intense and passionate feeling. For example, Barcelona's Andres Iniesta and Lionel Messi celebrate the winning moment with great fervor after scoring a goal against Malaga at Camp Nou. Mnemonic. The word fervor can be broken up as fervent, ardor, which means intense enthusiasm or feeling. Synonyms can be passion, intensity, zeal, avidity. Whereas antonyms for the word fervor can be apathy, indifference, passivity. Itinerary, it's a noun which means plan of trip, a planned route or journey. 
For example, as an organized person, Liu always plans and prepares detailed itinerary for his journey ahead of time. Mnemonic. We can remember the word itinerary as itinerant, a person who travels from place to place, which translates into plan to go from one place to another, a plan of a trip or a travel document recording a route or journey. Some synonyms of the word itinerary can be journey, path, tour, travel plan. Peripatetic, it's an adjective which means traveling from place to place, especially on foot. For example, the famine made the nomadic people peripatetic. They traveled far and beyond for a place where they can settle. Mnemonic for the word peripatetic, we can break it apart as these few parts. Peri, which means around, and pat, which we can think of as path or walk, plus etic. So we can break it apart and remember by perimeter of a path by being athletic or walk around the perimeter of a path by being athletic. Some synonyms of the word peripatetic can be nomadic, itinerant, wandering, migrating. Some near antonyms could be non-migrant or stationary. Remember, there is an alternate meaning to the word peripatetic, which means Aristotelian or an Aristotelian philosopher. Immaculate. It's an adjective which means perfectly clean or tidy, free from flaws or mistakes. For example, Robin is having guests over for dinner, so his house must be cleaned until it is immaculate. Mnemonic. The word immaculate can be remembered as imitating to clean. Some synonyms of the word can be unspoiled, untarnished, spotless, or pristine. Some antonyms of the word immaculate could be dirty, grubby, solid. Laconic. It's an adjective which means using very few words. For example, Jason always tries to be the laconic one during the conversation with his elder sister. But the reaction from his sister instigates verbose monologues. Mnemonic. The laconic word can be broken up as lack plus onic or sonic. So it means lack of sonic or lack of sounds or words. That is, it's an opposite of verbose and therefore it means brief to the point. Synonyms of the word laconic can be brief, concise, succinct, whereas some antonyms could be verbose, loquacious. Ascent. This word can be a noun and also a verb. So it means the expression of approval or agreement when it's a noun and when it's used as a verb, it means to agree or approve. For example, the paper has been given the assent for being submitted as an approved document. Mnemonic, the word assent can be remembered as assess to agree with the consent. Some synonyms could be approbation, or when it's used as a verb, approve, accord, consent, acceptance, or accept. Some antonyms can be dissent, refusal. Perennial, it's an adjective which means lasting or existing for a long or apparently infinite time. For example, Jason planted perennials in his garden that will bloom for many years in a row. Mnemonic for remembering the word perennial can be broken up as permanently continual or continually recurring. Synonyms for the word perennial can be everlasting, perpetual, eternal, continuing or endless. Some antonyms could be transient, ephemeral. Paragon, it's a noun which means a person or thing regarded as a perfect example of a particular quality. For example, Mother Teresa is considered as the paragon of peace and humanity who dedicated her life to work for the people. Mnemonic. The word paragon can be broken up as paradigm is on. That is, when a paradigm is on for all, it acts as a perfect example. Some synonyms for the word paragon can be epitome, paradigm, embodiment. 
Some near antonyms for the word can be imperfection, foible. Ephemeral. It's an adjective which means lasting for a very short time. For example, some friendships are meant to last forever, whereas some are ephemeral. They are short-lived just like words inscribed on the sand, soon to be washed off by the wave. The mnemonic for the word ephemeral can be broken up and thought as epilogue, which is a conclusion of a hymn, and funeral. So, the concluding part in a funeral lasts for a very short time, and a funeral represents death, which makes all of the lives ephemeral, that is, momentary. Synonym for the word ephemeral could be transient, evanescent, transitory. Some antonyms could be perennial, endless, permanent, everlasting. Pedantic. It's an adjective, which means person who pays more attention to minor details or rules and book learning than merit. For example, the professor's interpretation of the poem was pedantic and empty of genuine feeling. Mnemonic. In order to remember the meaning of the word pedantic, we can think of it as pandit and rearrange it in that way, which means a wise man or a teacher or a person who relies on books for learning. Some synonyms of the word pedantic can be donish, overscrupulous, bookish, whereas some near antonyms could be slapdash, careless. We are now going to see the application of all the words that we have learned today into a short story. Try to remember the meaning of each words as we read the paragraph, and in case you can't remember, feel free to go back to the corresponding slide. So here is the short story. Despite being laconic in nature, Thomas became ebullient whenever he received the invitation to be a keynote speaker in a conference. It is indeed a conundrum how a taciturn person like him becomes full of fervor during his lectures. His lectures are lucid and doesn't seem to be pedantic, which keeps his audience contented and keeps the demand of his lectures burgeoning. His family initially believed that his fame will be ephemeral. However, Thomas assented to so many events that they seem to have become perennial happening. The peripatetic nature of his job required him to maintain a strict and immaculate itinerary. His passion for knowledge and discipline eventually turned him into a paragon of his field among his people. Thanks for watching the video till the end. We hope that this video has helped you in learning new words. We will be back with new content as soon as possible. In the meantime, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.